everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet the star shaped washcloth. Now this one's made in three different colors and you can also make it in a solid. It measures about 10 by 10 so it's a nice size washcloth and it can also be used as a hot pad or even a doily or decoration for any of the patriotic holidays. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make a star washcloth you're going to need about two ounces of cotton yarn. Now this one here, this is a variegated, we made that with peaches and cream, the red, white, and blue variegated cotton yarn. And the peaches and cream is 100% cotton and it's a medium number four. And that's a great choice for your star. What I'm going to be doing for the demonstration is using this cotton yarn. This is Crafter's Secret. It is also a number four, and it's also 100% cotton. Now, if you have some like Premier or Karen cotton that are a blend, they will work fine for this project as well. All right, and so I'm going to be using these three colors. The red and the blue is a little bit of a variegated and this off-white, just because I want to give it just a little bit of Americana look. And I can make a couple with these three. I'll be using this red where this red is. I'll be using this sort of cream where the white is and this variegated blue where this blue is. And I think it's gonna turn out really pretty. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in those ends and then you'll also need your scissors. We'll be starting at the center of our star and then working our way out. So I'm beginning with my red variegated yarn. We're going to begin with our slip knot and then we're going to chain five chains. We're going to join this five chain into a circle by putting the tail of yarn over our hook and pulling it through that loop. And then we'll just snug that down. If you prefer to use the magic circle, you certainly can. I just prefer this method. We're going to put our hook through the chain five. Pull up a loop and chain three. This chain three counts as our first double crochet. All right, now we're going to stitch 14 double crochets in this chain five circle so that we have a total of 15 because our chain three counts as our first. And we're also going to be stitching over this tail of yarn. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through the second two. And that's our double crochet. And we need to have a total of 15 for row one. And we're stitching them in our chain five loop. And this is going to be a tight fit, so make sure as you're working, you just push those around so that we can fit all 15 in our chain five loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need five more, counting that chain three. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so now I have 15. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain three. And before I do row two, I'm going to turn my circle over. I'm going to gently pull on that string 
and by pulling on that string that's going to close up that hole. Now it doesn't have to close up completely, just a little bit so we don't have a big gaping hole. And then we'll come back in and weave that in later. And so for row one, you should have 15 double crochets around, joined to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now we're ready for row two. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to stitch two double crochets in that same stitch. We're going to chain two and then we're going to stitch three more double crochets in that same stitch. And then chain one. Our chain three here counted as our first double crochet. So we have three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one. And we stitch that all in one stitch. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and then we're going to stitch three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, all in the same stitch. Chain two and three double crochets. One, two and three and then we'll chain one. And so now we have two corners and we need to make three more. So we'll skip the next two stitches and we'll go in the next. Let's see. One, two, go in the next and stitch three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two and one, two, and three and chain one. So now we have three and we need to do this two more times. Skip two. There we go. And we'll stitch three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. and chain one. So now we need to do one more. So we'll skip those two stitches and we'll do that one more or one last time for this row. Three double crochets, chain two, whoops, get some more yarn out here, and three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain one, then we'll join to the top of that chain three. We'll slip stitch in the top of those two double crochets. Then we'll slip stitch in the chain one space. And this is the way that row two should look. You've got one, two, three, four, five points and each one has three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and a chain one in between. So now I'm going to be changing colors. So I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to bring in my off-white color. Now, if you're doing yours all in one color, you don't have to change colors here. Just bringing in my creamy white yarn here. We're going to go in that chain two space and chain three. If you did not change colors, you just slip stitch to the corner and chain three. I'm going to pull that to the back a little bit, snug those down and out of the way. All right, now what we're going to do on the corners, we're going to do exactly what we did here. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet, so we're going to stitch two more double crochets, one and two. We're going to chain two and then stitch three double crochets. So the corner is the same. See, the corner is exactly the same. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this chain one space and we're going to stitch a single crochet. Then we're going to go to the next corner and we're going to stitch three double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to chain two and then we'll stitch three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we'll go to the next chain two space and stitch a single crochet. And we'll repeat what we did here on the next three points. So three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, so I've completed those five points, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, then a single crochet in the chain one space. All right, so now we're ready for row four. We're going to chain three. Oh, and remember, when you join to the chain three, you need to slip stitch to the chain two space to get you back up on the corner and then chain three. All right, now we're going to double crochet two times, just like we did previously. Chain two and then three more double crochets in that point. And then we're going to place one double crochet in each of these three double crochets. The first one you got to kind of dig for a little bit. We want one in each of those three double crochets. We're going to skip this single crochet and then we're going to place one double crochet in these three double crochets. See how that looks? We've done the corner, three double crochets, we're skipping the single, and then three double crochets, which brings us back to this next corner, or up to the next corner, and we're going to stitch three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All right, so there is the three double crochets, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochets. And now we're going to repeat over here what we did over here. We're going to place one double crochet in each of those three. One, two, three. We're going to skip this single crochet and stitch one double crochet in those next three double crochets. And that brings us to the next corner. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All right, let me show you how that's looking. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then we stitch one double crochet in the next three, we skip the single, and then stitch one double crochet in the next three, and repeat. I've completed my five sides. Here's my last three double crochets. I'm going to join to the chain three, and then slip stitch in those double crochets to get me back to the chain two space of the corner and I'm going to change colors again. If you're not changing colors, you don't have to do this part, of course. You can go ahead and do your chain three, but I'm changing to this blue. There we 
go. Go in the chain two there. Snug it all down and chain three. All right, now we're going to do the points or the corners the same. So our chain three there counts as our first double crochet. And then I'm stitching two more so that I have three. Chain two. And then three double crochets. Because the corners, of course, or the points are stitched the same in that chain two space. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. We're only going to place one double crochet in the first five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so here's our corner and then our five double crochets. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and then begin stitching one double crochet in the next five. Let me show you how that looks. Again, here's our corner. We stitched one in the next five. We skipped these two double crochets, and then we stitched one double crochet in the next five. And this brings us to the corner, and so we'll do the corner the same. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Whoops, there we go. All right, one more double crochet. And now we're going to repeat here what we did over here. So one double crochet in the first five. We're going to skip these two double crochets and then stitch one double crochet in the next five. All right, now you can see how that's working. By pulling that in, in these areas, it's making it look more pointed like a star. All right, so I'm going to continue working this on around three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in this corner. Corner or point. They're stars, so they're a point. All right, and then one double crochet in the next five. All right, now and again, we're going to skip the two center double crochets and stitch one double crochet in the next five. And I'll repeat that on the rest of the side here, this side. And then I'll join back to my chain three. I've completed that row. 
our fifth row, I've got my five double crochets, and then three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets, five double crochets, and then we skip those two and repeat. It's looking very pretty, and I'm liking this yarn for this project. All right, we have one more row to do. And so I, after I did my last double crochet, I joined to my chain three, slip stitched to the chain two, and now I'm going to chain three. And again, this chain three counts as our first double crochet. And we'll do the corner the same, or the point. I keep calling them corners, but they are points because they're stars. So there's three, chain two, because remember our chain three counts as our first. And now I'm going to stitch three more double crochets. And we're doing the corners exactly the same as the previous rows. And now what we're going to do is you'll notice now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so what we're going to do is we're only going to stitch a double crochet in the first seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets. We're going to skip those two center double crochets like we did down here, and we'll stitch one double crochet in each of the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So basically we did the same thing that we did on this row. We just have more stitches. Where we had five, we now have seven, and we're skipping those two center double crochets and stitching those seven double crochets. And then brings us to our next corner or point. <laughs> I'm going to stitch those three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And then again, we're going to stitch across. All right, so I've stitched those seven. I'm going to skip the two center double crochets and stitch one double crochet in the next seven. And then we'll do the corner the same and repeat what we did here, working all the way around our star till we get back to our chain three. I've completed that last row, row six, with my blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets on each side with our corners of three double crochets, chain two. Now I'm going to join to the top of my chain three and tie off. All right, I'm going to pull that loop to the back so it looks a lot neater. There we go. And then of course we have quite a few strings to weave in since I changed colors a couple of times. So here's our completed 
washcloth. Here is the variegated one done all in one color, which I really like, the red, white, and blue variegated. And then this is the one we did earlier for our test. And then this is the one we did today in our video. And I really love these. They're a lot of fun. These make great gifts for anyone who's a veteran that you want to get, give them, say, a gift pack with some washcloths or something in it. They're also great for any of the patriotic holidays. You can use these as doilies. You know, set your mug on there. You can use them as decoration, make a bunch and hang them up. And of course, washcloths. One thing I do want to recommend that if you're going to use it as a hot pad, take two of them and put them together. Maybe use a solid and a variegated. It doesn't matter even if they're the same. And maybe do a stitch of single crochet around the edge. That way it's double thick if you're going to put something hot on it. And remember, if you're going to make it into a hot pad and putting something hot on it, do not use acrylic yarn. Make sure you stay with the cotton or cotton blend yarns. So that is our star-shaped washcloth.